Food safety is important uh, because animal source food provide a lot of micronutrients uh, to people, especially in developing countries that crops, um, plant crops cannot provide. So they are crucial, animal source food are crucial for um, human nutrition. However, many of these foods, they are marketed informally. Uh, that means there's no legislation, there's no inspection, there's really a, a big lack of awareness on a zoonosis that can be transmitted from animal source food to people. So that is basically the work we are doing. We are trying to see what is the regulatory framework, um, what are the actors that are, have a stake in um, food safety, uh, what do the consumers know about uh, food safety, how do they see quality uh, of animal source food and how important is uh, animal source food in people's nutrition. By working closely with the Livestock and Fish program, we were able to look at the farm, at the butchers, at the consumers, investigate disease, document diseases that have never been reported from the region before. And over the last four years, we have worked mainly on identifying constraints and opportunities, but the difference this time uh, to previous research was that we worked closely with all the value chain stakeholders. So we asked them what are the priority issues that you believe um, prevent you from growing bigger, eating more pork, eat, uh, drinking more milk. Now we are moving towards uh, how we can actually contribute to improving the livelihoods. For example, in Uganda again, uh, the, uh, the, the farmers, they were taught on how to preserve feeds. So uh, even in, um, in seasons where they are lacking feeds for the pigs, they will be able to take feeds that they have preserved by, um, uh, through making silage. They've been taught how to make silage. This is a direct impact on farm because feeds have been identified as a major constraint to uh, pig farming. Um, also, we have trained butchers on good hygienic practices and we hope that this will also lead to an impact um, on, on, on uh, well, less zoonotic uh, diseases in, in the pork in the future. We believe that food safety is demand driven, so it's the consumers, they should be aware of the uh, quality of the meat and what to look for. So we, also, we are trying to test technology interventions that um, keep pork safe. For example, we've been testing insecticide treated nets in pork butcheries that keep flies away from the pork because flies have been known to carry disease onto the pork. Um, we are trying to uh, um, see how biogas production can be used to uh, um, manage the slaughter waste because um, all the fecal material that is produced, generated at a slaughterhouse can lead to cross contamination. So we are trying to manage this through technological interventions. And on the side, we are doing lots of trainings and we are trying to measure the impact these trainings have on uh, behavioral change. For example, are butchers really changing the way they're handling handling uh, the pork uh, if we train them and what are the incentives maybe that lead to behavioral change you know are these mostly financial or reputation they have with customers what are these incentives that the butchers need to perform better and we are conducting um, cost of intervention studies and willingness to pay studies so are consumers actually prepared to pay more for a safer product so these are some of the, the things that we're working on that we hope will improve food safety and value chains.